Are you wasting time creating tasks and projects in Asana? What if you could have everything done for you? Now you can. You can just import a template into Asana. Today, I'm not gonna only show you how to import a workflow into Asana, but give you an idea of how you can customize it and use it to become more productive. I'm gonna use my video creation workflow as an example. Let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is show you how to import a template. I've already created a, a testing team. So I'm gonna put the project under here. So you just hit the plus and then import spreadsheet. First, you're going to name your project. I'm going to just put video creation workflow. You can name yours after your YouTube channel. You can name it YouTube videos. So whatever you want to name it, go ahead and do that. So select a file to import and I'm going to import my video creation file. So video creation workflow open. So this is what's going to be imported. And I'm just going to go to project. Okay, so everything was created. So with this template, I have these here. Because if I didn't have a task under these sections, these sections wouldn't be created. So if you download the template, go ahead and delete these. So delete me, I'm just a placeholder, so this section will exist. So just delete all of them. You can do that by, you can do it like this. Just click on it and then delete task or you can just erase it. Actually, if you select all these, just the ones that say delete me, you should be able to delete tasks. So that was the simple way. Let me see. I think there was something else with this that I had to change. Let me make sure. Oh, under these, the ones with the colons, they're supposed to be new sections. To create that, for some reason, whenever I created the file, it wouldn't create it as a section. So just hit tab N and then copy and paste and then delete this task, this, this subtask. So you can do that with this one too, pre-production, production, and post-production. So all the ones with this little semicolon, you can change. So now that we've imported this template and made the changes that you needed to make, I'm gonna show you how to make it your own. For example, Maybe you don't want to name this pre-production. Maybe you have, maybe you want to name it research. Uh, maybe you want to name it planning. And then this section can just be filming. Whatever you want to name it, you can do that. Same thing for these. So I put video template because this is the master copy. So you just go over here and duplicate this task and then name it the name of your video. So I'm going to say like how to upload a video to YouTube. And then I don't have to include any of these, but if you needed the same due date and the same person to assign it to, you can click those. But I'm just going to create new task. And then you see that this was created, but with the video name, but it still has the same task as the master copy. So remember to make a copy of this, don't delete it. So it'll be easier to recreate your YouTube videos. And then I have this idea bank. So if you have a video idea, you can put the first idea, the second idea. Like what if I wanted to make a video on, let's see, how to brand your YouTube channel. These are just ideas. They don't have to be real titles. Just whatever thoughts you have that you're brainstorming, you can stick them all in this idea bank. And then whenever you want, whenever you have a brainstorming session, you can go back and start, start using those ideas to create the actual video. The other thing I wanted to say is you can add your own tasks. Like for example, I like to repurpose my videos into blog posts. 
So I actually have a section for a blog too. So I might have a new section called blogging. And then in here in the master copy, I'll create another section here and name it blogging. And then I can, I can add all the tasks that I need for blogging. So I could add some blogging tasks. Oh, um, I can add, maybe I wanna add a transcription for my videos. So I can use that for my blogs, but you can also use that for your YouTube videos, for the captions. So you can add your own task to this if this isn't everything that you want to do. So the other thing I wanted to mention was how to make this more productive for you. You can add your own documents and templates to make this more productive. For example, under this script section, you can have a YouTube script. Like later, I'm gonna start selling a Google document for YouTube because you can actually attach your Google documents here. And every time, every time you recreate this, every time you duplicate this task, it'll show up in each of the tasks. So for example, create script, I'm just going to, for now, use my free video script template. I can drag it and drop it. And then you see it's on here now. So I can attach from the Google Drive, which is what I do for my tasks. But you have the option of your computer, the Dropbox, Box, OneDrive. Actually, let me add one more thing. So for the video, uh, edit video and design thumbnails, I'm going to use the one of my templates from the shop. So here's my thumbnail template. I'm gonna drag and drop it there. So you see that this thumbnail template is here. The script template is here. Maybe if I upload my video, I know that I have to go to youtube.com to upload. I actually have to go to rev.com to get the transcription for my videos. So every time I'm ready for that, I can just click it and it goes straight to your YouTube channel. Same thing for rev, click it go straight to Rev to place a new order. So I just wanted to show you that if I duplicate this, I'm gonna duplicate task. I'm just gonna name it how to market your YouTube videos. So I'm gonna wait for this to upload. And just so you know, you don't only have to use this for YouTube. This is for any video creation. If you're making videos for IGTV, for Facebook, maybe even a webinar. Like all this pertains to creating videos for online for your business. There would probably be more steps for like if you're creating a movie or a television show. But if you're doing this for your business, just creating webinars or something like that, then this will actually help. It's just, it's not just for YouTube. So I'm going to go back to this, how to market your YouTube videos. And you see the blogging is here, transcription is here. Um, so the script is here, the thumbnail template is here. So you can see how you don't have to go and find the files that you need. Everything is already set up in the task in Asana. Like, let me, let me click on it. So you see that the thumbnail template automatically downloaded. And same thing for the script. So you see this template popped up. Now you only have to print it out to write out your script. Do you have a workflow for your videos? Let me know in the comments down below. Importing a template into Asana is super easy and saves you time creating your own workflows from scratch. Customizing your workflow is easy and saves you time in the long run. You don't have to look for files and documents because they're all part of your tasks now. If you're interested in grabbing my Asana video creation workflow, you can grab it from the link in the description box down below. If this video was helpful for you, be sure to subscribe, share with your friends, and hit the like button so I know to make more videos like this. Until next week, bye.